In the last six videos we covered all the basics of WordPress custom query. Uh, but when we covered that I only showed you some low level examples of that. So in this videos and in this video and in the future, I don't know, maybe two or three videos, we are going to be doing some real world practical examples of WordPress custom query. So for the first one we are going to make a filter. So like this one right here when you insert prices right here and sizes and colors all the posts that you get down here should correspond to this data up here so they should be in that range so this is what we are going to be doing today so I just wanted to spare you my uh, slow typing uh, and I did this filter already so this is this doesn't work just yet but uh, this filter is just a form uh, the action is actually the permalink we are currently on so this page and the method is get and now we have a label for minimum price maximum price size and as you can see this is a select box with some values in it and you have this color right here and you have uh, another select box with the colors of your post. So uh, this is the same data that we used when we did meta queries. So we are displaying prices, colors and sizes and now we want to create a filter that is actually going to filter out that data for us. So if we choose color of blue right here and click filter we should only get the posts that have a color of blue. Okay, uh, so all of this is going to be available, available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Uh, also, I did a little bit of styling of that form just so that it doesn't look very bad. And I think that's it. We can actually begin creating this custom filter. Let me first explain how this is going to work. So if you know anything about PHP, this will be very familiar to you. But if you don't, I'm going to go really slow and uh, explain everything that we are doing. So first of all, I have to change this action from permalink to just this because I tested this out on uh, another page and I needed the permalink for that page. But si since we are on uh, root of our site I'm just going to use this so action is going to be this okay I'm going to save it and now if I go right here and I in min price I put 20 and in max I put 200 and in size I put S and in color I put yellow and if I click filter you will see something happen in the URL so first of all we get this min price equals 20 and max price equal, equals 200 and size is S and color is yellow. So we get all our variables right here. Now what we need to do is just get those variables by the way of PHP. So a PHP has a get variable command and we can use it to get all the variables that user actually inputted in this field and then we can make uh, all those posts filter out via WordPress custom query. So let's say we want to get just just for starters minimum and maximum price. So what we would do I'm just going to write uh, write it up here so open PHP tags and now you just say if and then the dollar sign get and just one thing I didn't explain as you can see all of these inputs have names so min price max price and they correspond to these URLs right here so actually these arguments in the URL so min price max price size and color uh, as you can see select has a name of size and this select has a name of color so this is how we get those variables and we just say uh, min and then we say and is not empty get min again 
OK. We open up those curly braces. So what we are saying right here, if in the URL we have this min attribute, and we have actually not min, but uh, let me just see min price. I'm sorry. So min price and min price. If we have this min price attribute in the uh, our URL, then set variable. We'll just call it min price again. Min price. Then set that variable to the value of this get. So for this example right here, it will be 20. So I'm just going to write get and min price. And that's it. So now we are just saying if this isn't empty and if we have it, if something is written in it, just set this variable min price to be this value right here. So in this case 20. And we can I can even show you that if I just do echo echo min price. Save it. And as you can see right here, it says 20. Okay. So I'm just going to delete this one and copy this out. And we do the same thing for max price. So we do max price for max price and we can also just echo it out echo max price and now as you can see we get 200 right here because we have 200 right here also so now we have those two variables. So what can we do with them? So let's say that first of all we want to display all the prices in the minimum and maximum range. And we already learned how to do that in the meta query episode. So to do that I'm just going to go down here and set up our arguments. So we already have some arguments right here that are post type and post per page is going to be unlimited. And now we have to do meta query. Meta query and that meta query is going to be an array. Of course. And then we do array again. And now we set up our first of all values. So which field are we looking at? So we are looking at the field of price. So we set key is price. And the type of that field is numeric. Type is numeric. So we already did that as I said in the meta query episode. And now we have the value of that field. So in the meta query episode I showed you how you would do uh, prices or any kind of numbers to be between. So we have minimum and maximum range and uh, for all the prices to be in that range or numbers. So we would do value, value and we paste an array with a minimum and maximum size. So we can do something like 10 and something like, I don't know, 100. Just for this example, we are going to make it dynamic. And of course, for compare, we say between. Compare. And that is going to be between. So between th these two numbers, between 10 and 100. OK, save this. And now if we go right here, as you can see, our list has changed and all the prices are between 100 and 10. So this one is 100, but none of the prices is above the 100 or below 10. OK, so now that we did that, of course, we don't want this hard coded right here. And since we have uh, variables, with values that we want right here. So we just 
insert them instead of these hard coded values. So we are going to do min price and we are going to do max price. And that's it. If we go right here, as you can see, this already changed because uh, our min price is 20 and our max price is 200. So we should probably get all the posts that we have. And we can also do something like if I go right here right now and do something like 10 and uh, I don't know 70 and click filter. As you can see, this already works. So we have all the prices between 10 and 70. If I do 10 and 150 and filter them out, we would get all the prices between 10 and 150. So you can see how this works. So in that same way, we are going to do all the other fields. First of all, let's just set up our variables real quick. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, just change the names of the variables. So first one is size, okay? And the second one is color. Okay, so now we've got size and color variables. Now we have to set up our arrays, actually our comparison fields. So array is going to be, so for the first one the key is going to be size and we are not going to set up a type because this is going to be a character field and the character field is set up by default so we are going straight to value value is <coughs> size so the variable that we got from our URL and compare for now is going to be equals to okay so now we got size set up and next we are going to set up a color. Color and the variable is color. Okay, save this, go to our page and as you can see we get nothing. We get nothing because of this equal signs right here. So don't forget that by default all these arrays are, have a relationship and that relationship is AND. So all the fields have to be filled out for this uh, meta query to work. So you of course can do OR right here but that wouldn't produce the results we need. So we are going to leave it as it is right now and I'm just going to show you that this actually works but you have to do something like 10 200 uh, Excel for size and I don't know purple and filter this out so you would get two results so as you can see the prices are in range the color is purple and the size is Excel so this works but if you just do 10 and 200 because these fields aren't filled out we get nothing so what can we do in this situation well, we can just go right here and we can do like instead of instead of equals to. So what does like mean? So like is like a wildcard. As you can see in this any right here we have no value and since we didn't get any value we don't even get these variables defined because we set them uh, right here to not show up if this field is empty so if this URL attribute uh, is empty and it is, it is empty in our case but if we set like right here it's like writing an asterisk symbol right here so it's going to be anything it can be it will show any kind of value that it has so I hope that's clear to you. So if we had, let's say instead of uh, 
instead of color right here if we had a value of BL and had the like right here we, we would get uh, all the posts that have a color blue because you can look at this like written like this so BL and anything after BL but as I said since we got nothing right here then we get only this asterisk symbol and we get every kind of value that we have only the price uh, will be in between the ranges so if I save this and go to our page right now as you can see we have uh, <coughs> we have all the posts actually written out but if I do something like 10 and 70 this still works and we get only the prices that are between the ranges of 10 and 70 so I hope you understand how this works so we dealt with that problem but there is another problem that we have right here and that is if I just wanna show all the posts that have a color of blue and if I do this we would get nothing because we don't have minimum and maximum price uh, so it's the same type of deal that we had with these sizes and colors but we can do like here because we are comparing prices in between some ranges so what we can do we can just go up here and say so if this isn't set up so we don't get anything then mean price should be zero and the max price so else max price should be let's say nine 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 and that's it so if we save this and right here you can see that we get all the colors all the posts that have a color of blue or we can say we want all the posts that have a size of Excel or the all the posts that have a size of medium and color of blue so as you can see we get blue and medium so you can see how that works and you can see that our filter actually now works as expected of course you can do some crazy things like uh, right here like uh, doing this with the Ajax so that whenever you input something right here it would automatically change uh, also you can see this filter is pretty crude so if we f do something like 10 and 200 right here and filter this out you see that min and max fields are empty so I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do that for these two fields and you can figure out how you can do it for these select boxes so what you would do you would do just value equals to open up PHP and do min price actually echo min price and you would do the same thing right here and just do max price so okay this is not right so if we go right here you will see that now these fields are filled out you would of course have to do uh, some if statements right here for this to actually be selected and so on this is just a basic example of what you can do with custom query for creating your own custom filters. So I think that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, please like it. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe to it. Uh, also, don't forget all the code that we used right here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.